Let's go. All right. All right. Hey everyone, Zero Prominence here, and this is just a very short stream video live feed. <laughs> and I just got a bunch of breakthrough booster packs, both in real life and for the breakthrough. So I thought it would be fun just to open up these breakthrough packs on camera and you know see what I get. So haven't oh, haven't touched a single breakthrough pack, so a lot of these are going to show up as new. So yeah, let's just uh, jump in and see how this goes. So let's start by opening the first pack. Alright, let's see. Wow, I didn't think it would take this long to load a pack. It's probably because I'm live streaming at the moment. One of these days I'd like to get a better computer for this stuff. Alright, here we go. First breakthrough pack. Can't wait to see what I get. And... Everything is new because it's the first pack. Marowak. Oh, that's cute. Cubone and Marowak are right next to each other. I just gotta admit how much I like the artwork on this Cubone right here. Because, you know, Cubone is known as a lonely Pokemon and, you know, it's kind of at the amusement park by itself. So that's kind of a little nice detail. Really helps make the Poke. Really what makes Pokemon the more unique of all the trading card games out there, in my opinion. Okay, let's move on to the next pack. Here's hoping that I can at least get 5 EXs out of this. Again, everything is new. Wow. Hey, look, it's my mascot. Okay, let's see here. This is... Ew. Ah, it's Broccoli Head. Uh, okay. Heavy Boots. Why do I think of Legend of Zelda whenever I see the card Heavy Boots? Because I know Link gets like a boot item in the game. I don't know, I'm just rambling at this point. Uh... Oh wow, everything is new again for the third pack in a row. Two Professor's Letters. I can always use more of those. In real life, anyway. And... Vanilla X. It's not a great stage 2 card. I really don't see that getting any play in standard or expanded, to be honest. Okay, here we go. Next pack. Alright, Heavy Ball. I like that card. Uh, let's see. What are you? Are you serious? Twice in a row? Okay, Heavy Ball, that is a great search card, because a lot of Pokemon have 3 Retreat or more, and then Burning Energy. I am actually very interested to use this card in a future deck, so yeah. I like Burning Energy when you uh, when it's attached to a Fire-type and it's discarded by an effect of its own attack, so you can reattach it, which is pretty common amongst Fire-types, like Flamethrower. Okay, let's see what I get this time. Oh, Rainbow Energy. Neat. Oh, beautiful! I have yet to get this card in real life. I I, I want it, because it has a good ability. So once during your turn, before you attack, you can draw until you have five cards in your hand, which is pretty good draw power in the Pokemon card game. And to get a memory with that, that's actually pretty neat. Okay. Oh, it's the Fairy-type Rolls. Nice. Okay, next pack. Sweet. <laughs> now if I could just get Octillery in real life. Alright, Wobbuffet, and... Ugh, the water one. Oh well, it's good for collection, I suppose, and the artwork's nice. I like that they have it playing in a fountain like a little kid would. I used to I used to play in fountains all the time as a kid. Cyndaquil, oh my god, it's so cute. I mean, just look at that artwork. Cyndaquil's one of the cu cutest starters in my book. Okay, next pack. Alrighty, this is... Aromatisse. Eh, for a rare card, it's not bad, but it's not great. I mean, you, you can easily free retreat out of this heavy perfume effect. This Magnemite, though, I can see Magnemite being played in standard. It has a good ability, which is for each Magnemite on your bench, it gets one less retreat cost. So easy to set up for Magnezone, easy to put on the bench, because Magnezone is going to be a bench sitter in my opinion, but it has a great ability. Hopefully if I pull it during this uh, video, I can show you guys what Magnezone does. Snover, another one of my favorites. Alright, you are... 
Braviary. Again, bad rare in my opinion. There is yet to be a good Braviary card. Now this one, Floatstone. This is definitely one of the staples within the Pokemon card game, both in Expanded and in Standard. So Floatstone's a good card. Snover is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. It's definitely within my top 20. The Powder Snow, Auto Sleep, Double Smash. Eh, it's okay for basic. I like the Auto Sleep. Sand True, <laughs> out in the desert. Neat. And then Curly is at the club with all its psychic type buds. Yeah, Curly on the dance floor. That's how I always imagined Curly ever since I first saw it. Okay, what do we got this time? Oh, well, two go-goats next to each other, and... Oh, beautiful! Mega Mewtwo EX. Alright, Psychic Infinity. It starts at base 10, but then it does 30 more damage for each energy, both on itself and the Pokémon it's attacking. So, Psychic Infinity can actually be a pretty massive hit, and how appropriate that I got the Mewtwo Spirit Link to go with it. Alright. Neat. And I'm not going to worry about pulling Mewtwo EXs because I already have two of them from, online from the uh, next Destiny set. So I can I can build a deck with it if I wanted to right after this. Okay, you are... Staraptor! Staraptor is actually not bad for a stage 2. 3 for 120 and if you have a hard charm on it, it's not going to hurt itself. So, Staraptor, I like it for a stage 2. It's definitely one of the better stage 2s in standard, not so much for expanded. Brogadier, eh, it's alright. Too bad there's no Greninja in the set. Alright, so, Haunter. Haunter is interesting, because it confuses both active Pokémon when you evolve into it. Yeah, you could probably combo it with the uh, Virizion's, um, Virizion's Verdant Wind ability in expanded, or, uh, what's that one card? Stadium card. Oh, uh, Steel Shelter. And then Snorlax. I love the ability on the Snorlax. Plump body. <laughs> All damage done to it's resisted by 30 damage. So yeah, plump body. I love that ability. Okay. Next back. Okay. Wait, is this really an uncommon? Uh, common? No, it's common. Oh, it's reverse hollow. That's why. Hey, Xerneas. Okay, now... Number one, artwork on this card is beautiful. Number two, I see potential with this Xerneas. I mean, yeah, the energy cost is pretty high, but I think if Xerneas is played right, it could be a heavy hitting card in standard. Not to mention, you can combo power creation with floor just break. So yeah. Let's see. Ooh, Judge! Love that prank. Ooh, floor just break. I was just talking about that. How funny is that? Okay, so I was t saying earlier that I saw potential with Xerneas, and the reason behind that is um, floor just break. When you have that in play, you can heal 30 damage and all in one special condition from the active. So that's actually pretty neat to combo it with uh, power creation. I can't remember at the moment how much power creation does when you heal, but it's pretty massive. And then Cresselia. Not the greatest version of Cresselia, in my opinion. But, hey, cool artwork. I like that it's like flying through a Seattle or New York-like city in the background. Okay, so moving on. What do we have here? Town map and stunt fist. Bench barrier, Mr. Mine. Okay, I only have one rant about this card. In the Japanese set, this is a common card. In our set, it's a rare card. So, what gives? So yeah, Benchberry Mr. Mime. I can see him being teched into most decks. Hey, Axew and Fracture are new. That's neat. So, this is... Halucha! I wonder, is Halucha rare in this set? It is. You know, the Halucha from Furious Fist is way better than this. Okay, next pack. Matthew2510, do I have any packs for you? Can you get a pack? Matthew2510, sorry. <laughs> I don't have any packs for you, but I will have more code cards in the near future. <laughs> really? 
I just pulled that last pack. Okay, Parasect. Eh, for one, the artwork, I actually find it creepy. <laughs> oh, God. And two, color for spores. Like, it's not worth it unless you're playing some type of rainbow deck. But I also want to say I refer to this Zork as female Zork because of the pink bow and the first attack finding voice. It just makes me think it's a girl. So, yeah. Uh, next one. Ooh, hey, another version of my mascot. Woohoo! And you are... Bronzong, Pain Amplifier. Eh, it's not bad, but it's not great. <laughs> okay. Mischievous. Uh, you know what I just noticed? I got the Vanillite line backwards. I got Vanillux first, and then Vanillish, and now I have Vanillite. Assault Vest. You know, that's a great item in the video game, but... I'd much rather run Enhanced Hammer in my deck over Assault Fist, because there's better tools than Assault Fist in the card game. And Enhanced Hammer just flat out gets rid of the special energy. Okay, next pack. Hey look, it's Male Zorua. This is... Ah. Uh, eh. Not bad. Let's see. <laughs> Hyru in the chat room says that fisherman is a real fisherman. <laughs> eh. Yeah, I guess so. Let's see. Hey, I keep getting my mascot as a new card over and over. Oh, wait, I see a card that I like. Okay. Strapper and Staravia next to each other. How cute. Okay, now Sandslash is a new card. Okay, this card, Parallel City. Like, number one, I am actually going to be judging at City Championships in Oregon. This card is going to be a judging nightmare for judges like myself. Because, like, I can see little kids playing it sideways on accident when they're supposed to play it straight up and down and decide who gets which effect, so... But, other than, other than my small complaint there, I really like this card. I, I seriously do, because, like, it counters... It counters, uh... What's it called? Skyfield. It counters Skyfield, it can really limit your opponent's options, and people that play Colrus are going to hate this card. Well, to the best. Oregon is best. Thank you, Hyru. I agree. I live in Oregon. I judge tournaments in Oregon. Come visit my league in Salem. <laughs> Alright, next pack. Hey, another parallel city. Awesome, I have two of those now. Obama Snow! Okay, like, I'm one of the few people that like Obama Snow. But I love the first attack on it, Ice Age. If the opponent's active is a dragon type, auto paralysis. I love that attack. You're in Portland. How cool. Thank you, Hyru. Alright. Oh, Noivat's a new card. Skiddo is a new card? Whoa. Oh, because it's reverse hollow. Okay. This is. How the show. Okay, next. There's nothing interesting in this pack worth talking about. Alright. Hey, I got Wubat. Okay, Wubat's actually an inter- oh, so Seeking. They're both interesting. Marowak, okay. I got three Parallel Cities, so I'm good to use those in the deck now. I got two of those. I want to get more of these Burning Energies. Okay, Wubat is interesting, because potentially, for one energy, he can do 120 damage. Bad news is, he's an easy knockout. Okay, and then Seeking. Soaking Horn. If he was healed, he does 90 damage for one energy. Again, interesting. Some potential here but also easy knockout for some EXs. But I I like cards like Seeking that can do a lot massive damage for cheap energy. So am I going to build a deck with Seeking? Well, I might build one just to goof around, but will I use it in a tournament? Probably not. Let's see here. Ooh, swine up with Powder Snow. Auto Sleep is always good to have. Isn't that like the second time in a row Marowak has been? Yeah, no, I was just looking at a comment in the chat room. Uh, second time I've had that in a pack, yeah. Let's see. Hyru says he draws angry eyebrows on Sea King. That, that sounds like it'd be funny. Uh... Hey, Trim Plus a new card. Okay. This is... Noivat! Or Noivern! <laughs> oh god. And Smeargle! Oh wow, two good cards. Okay, 
No, Noivern, there's a Noivern break in the set, but honestly, I would rather combo Noivern break with a Noivern from Furious Fists. That's the better Noivern in my opinion. Smeargle with Second Coat? No. This is a very tricky card, because what it does is you can choose one of your one of your basic energy cards attached to your active Pokemon and change it to a different energy from your discard pile. Now that sounds strange to some people out there, but I've already seen some really good combos, especially in Dragon-type decks that use basic energies. So yeah, I actually like the Smeargle, and I see some potential in it as a tech. Oh look, first camp four. How cute. This is... Dodrio. Okay, this is another card I don't have in real life yet. Dodrio reduces retreat for your active Pokemon by two. Float Stone's a better card, because you have to evolve into Dodrio, and yeah. It doesn't help itself if it's active and it can't retreat for free, so Float Stone is a better card. Dodrio's just there. <laughs> Speaking of Bloodstone, have I pulled one yet? I don't remember if I have. Oh! <laughs> of course I would get that in the video, in the online version. Another Octillery, yes! Okay, awesome. Having two of those is going to be helpful. But this card right here, this card, Zorkrit. Like, this is the card I wanted the most out of this set in real life, and I could not pull one out of a booster pack for the life of me. Zork Break. For one energy, you can copy your opponent's active Pokemon's attacks, and you don't need anything necessary to use it, like energy costs, like, or like discarding energies. Like, if you copied, for example, um, Poopa EX's, um, what is it, Hyperspace Fury, it says you have to discard two Psychic Energies. But it doesn't say you if you don't discard the attack, there's nothing. So you can just, like, Lissandre off the Hoopa EX, and then use Foul Play, and do 100 to any of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So Zork Break amazing card and I really want to build the deck out of this. I hope I can get one more Zork break. Ah, oh, psyched up. Psyched up. I'm so glad I pulled a Zork break. Okay, this is... Ew. Hello there, old friend. <laughs> well, seeing auto sleep's nice. The second attack is actually terrible. Don't... I'm, I'm never using chat out in the deck. No one ever should. Just saying. There have been better Chadok cards in the past. Hey, I finally got a Quilladin to go with my chest bins. About time. Another Marowak. Another Xerneas. Hmm. Neat. Okay, next pack. Hey, got Pilus one. Oh, I finally got Bridget. Now that's a great card. Oh, and a pavilion! Oh, this is another card I don't have in real life yet. Okay, so Bridget, I actually really like this card. So you can either choose to get one basic EX or three basic Pokemon that are not EXs. So I see a lot of potential in Bridget, especially in non-EX decks like uh, Vespa Queen. Bridget's awesome. And the Vivillon, this card is just okay in my opinion, especially if you combo it with Forest of Giant Plants. It's just okay. I mean... It's potential energy acceleration, and if you have multiple pavilions, that's multiple coin flips for extra energy. So, And then three energies for 60 in sleep. Again, it's just okay. It's not my favorite stage 2, and personally I'm not going to be playing it, but it's a decent card. Let's see here. What else? Oh, Paris. Wow, I got Paris like a while ago, and I just now get Paris. That's funny. Okay, reverse hollow heavy ball, another fisherman. Okay, next. What do I have? Reserve ticket, no. That's... Yeah! <laughs> okay, I need at least one more of these Zorks. Okay, Zork with Floatstone is free. Uh, sweet, free uh, the, oh god. I'm tripping over my own tongue again. Okay, Zork with Floatstone is a free switch every turn basically, because stand in, will, if it's on the bench, you can switch it with your active. Mind Jack is a great attack. Especially when playing playing against someone that has a uh, is using a Skyfield type deck, so I really like the Zork. I hope I can get one more of it to combo it with the Zork break. Reserve Ticket is an interesting card. So you flip a coin, if head, search your deck for any card, then shuffle and put the card you chose on top. And I'm saying this is an interesting card because one, 50-50 chance that it works. Two, there's always that chance that your opponent will get you with either red card, trick shovel, or judge. 
and those can mess you up pretty bad. Oh, and N. N can also mess you up. So reserve ticket, there's no way I'm using that in any of my decks. There are better trainers to use. Okay, so Frogadier's new. Chestnut! Hey, Chestnut, look! It's your fully evolved form as a Super Saiyan. Okay, Chestnut Break. With Force of Giant Plants, it's feasible. That energy cost, though. That's the only thing I don't like about this card. That you need four energies to attack with a Break form. But it's a pretty good attack, overall. 160 damage to the active, 30 to itself, and 30 to a bench, bench on your opponent's side of the field, so... It's a good attack, just wish the energy cost was more manageable. How many packs do I have left? Nine? Okay. Alright, reverse hollow spritzy and Raichu! I love that artwork, it just looks so awesome. Like, this Raichu here means business. 50 to all of your opponent's EXs, including ones on the bench, and then possible 90 damage, so... You know, I like the Circle Circuit Raichu better for tournaments, but this one just has one of the best artworks on a Raichu I've seen in a long time. So I just love the artwork on that. And Thunder Thunderclap Shot's not bad of an attack. Okay, so this is Miss Magius. You know, again, this is just an okay stage one. I mean, for late game, you can force your opponent to having like a two card hand or a one card hand, so. And then one for or one psychic and a double colorless for sixty and confused. It's okay. It's not a main attacker, is what I would call it. What is the name of the league in Salem? Uh, hold on, I will answer your question in just a minute, Probers. So let me just see what we get here. You Vettel, that's nice. And a Noivern. Okay, so the answer, Prober, in the chat room. The name of the Pokemon League I host is Haven Gaming League. It's every Saturday from 1 to 6. And Haven Gaming is located on Commercial Street. So yeah, that's the league I run. Salem has a total of four different Pokemon Leagues. So yeah. Anyway, okay, so Houndom Spirit Link. Wow, it's been that long since I got one. Okay, Giovanni Scheme. I actually like this card because you can pick one effect and do it. You either draw so you have 5 cards or do 20 more damage. Now Giovanni's scheme is awesome because you can stack the 20 damage with your muscle bands. So I can see Giovanni's scheme being pretty good. Hyru says that his or her friend runs a Pokemon League in Portland. Oh, which one? Because I've been to like 4 different leagues in Portland. I've been to Epic Gaming, Guardian Games, the Roundtable Pizza League. Yeah, that's it. I've been to just those three leagues. Guardian Games, Epic Gaming, so yeah. Okay, now, Yvettel. Pitch Black Spear. 60 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon EX. I can see some potential in this Yvettel. I really don't know if it'll be a tournament winning card. Or if it's, you know, going to be one of those amazing basics that hit hard. I, I like it. And I like that it shuts down tools like Spirit Links. So, you know. I see potential with this, I just don't 100% know how I, would, how I would use it in a deck. But I would like to see it do some pretty cool. Oh, you know Katie, aka Lady Lapras. Oh wow, shout out to Lady Lapras in this video. I'll have to link this video to her with the timestamp of when I do this shout out. So Hyru, yeah, you know Katie, awesome. Yeah, Katie is one of my closest friends, I've known her for years. Oh, whoops. Oh, open another one. Come on. Alright, here we go again. I, I have yet to be at Visit Experience Point. I have never been to that league. Okay, here we go. This pack is... Freaking... Isn't that like the fifth Marowak I've had in this set? Okay, next. Uh, oh. That's like my fourth parallel city, awesome. This is... Oh! I like that. That's cool. I got a full art Giovanni scheme. I like this a lot. Okay, next pack. And the fire monkey, yay. Okay, I'm not really that enthusiastic about getting it. 
Oh, excuse me. I'm not that enthusiastic about that. <laughs> okay, we have another Zor. Yes, I know what tech I'm building. Mammal Swine. Okay, Mammal Swine is an interesting card. Like, first of all, you have the Thick Bat ability, which is not as good as Snorlax's Plump Body, but it's a decent ability. Primordial Boom. Well, that's that's a really weird attack name. So if you're the one with the stadium, it does 40 more damage for 120. If your opponent has a stadium, Mammal Swine heals itself. And with 160 HP, this is actually a decent stage 2. Like, put some strong energies on it, and I'm pretty sure it'd be quite the tank. Mm. Mammal, Swine's, Mammal Swine's okay, I just wish it had a lower energy cost or did more damage for the amount of energy you need to run this card. Okay, down to the last few packs. Go Duo's the Reverse Hollow. Yippee. Oh! I want this card in real life so bad. I don't have that card yet, but I want one of those. Raikou is one of my favorite legendaries of all time. Probably my second favorite legendary of all time, but Raikou always has a special place in my heart. Okay, Shining Body. If he has any electric energies on him, he takes 20 less damage from attacks. And then Thunder Lance, 50 plus 20 more for each lightning energy on him. I This is my favorite Raikou card that's come out probably since the... Uh, wow. Probably since the Raikou Suicune Legend card back in the Heart Gold Soul Silver days. I mean... Number one, great attack, good ability. Number two, that artwork is just so beautiful. I mean, just look at look at the detail on this and the shading. Like this is my favorite card art in the entire set. And that's saying a lot because there's so many good artworks in the set. I mean, like look at the baby. That's just so cute. And it, I know you guys might not be able to see it, but like if you look carefully in the baby's background, it looks like there's Mega Mewtwo in the background of the baby colliding against something. And an Axe you right there, like, chopping up berries, like, there's so much good artwork in this set. I really, re like, Kagamaru, Kagamaru Himin, Himine, I'm probably not going to pronounce that right, but Kagamaru is probably one of my favorite artists for Pokemon in the TCG. And, like, his or her artwork has always been amazing. Okay, next pack. Okay, anything good? Reverse Hollow Swoobat, Noidburn. Okay, I think this is the last pack. I'm pretty sure this is the last booster pack. We have another Chestnut Break, and oh! Another card I don't have in real life yet, but I want to build a deck out of this card. Okay, Dragon Dance. As long as Haxorus is your active Pokemon, each of its attacks do 100 more damage. You can't add more than 100 damage this way, so... If how I think this card is ruling is correct, I might be wrong. As long as your opponent doesn't Lissandre a bench Pokemon up or play something like, I don't know, Escape Rope. Like, you can do 230 damage for two energies. This is ridiculous. This is one of the most ridiculous stage 2 cards I've ever seen. So yes, I want to try building a deck out of this Haxorus. Oh my god. Like, two energies for 230, you can one-shot most Mega, Mega Evolution Pokemon this way. So yeah, this Haxorus card is ridiculous. I really want to build a deck out of it. But to do that, I need more Haxorus. Okay, so yeah, that's it. That's all the packs I have. So yeah, thank you guys very much for tuning in and watching. I'd love to stick around and stream more Pokemon, but unfortunately I have re real-life Pokemon League coming up in just 15 minutes, so I need to get off the computer and get ready for all my League members who will be showing up soon. Okay, well, those of you here on Twitch, thank you very much for joining me, and thanks for following all that fun stuff. I am Azure Prominence, also known as Kahan, and I run the Salem Pokemon League. So yeah, see you guys next time. And if this is the YouTube version that you're watching, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know like what some of your favorite Pokemon card arts are, and let me know if you guys like this kind of video. I will be more than happy to do trading card game videos, and I am definitely going to bring more VGC videos to both my Twitch and YouTube channels in the near future. Alright, so... Farewell.